How's it going everyone and welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to be taking a look at my recently acquired Grim Citizen. So the Grim Citizen is a legendary auto rifle that was available in Vanilla Destiny when the game first launched and was recently brought back to Year 2 as part of the April update. So this is a Crucible weapon, which means I have a chance of getting this from Crucible packages. No mine has Hot Swap, Army of One and Injection Mold, so not that great of a roll at all. Could do with something like Rangefinder or anything else that increases stability, but this is all I've got for now, so I'm going to take this into Rumble and see how this thing does. Now before this video I did do a few test games just to get an idea of what this weapon was like and just to warm up for the video, and it didn't do too great, so I'm hoping that we do better in this video. So this time we're playing on Thieves' Den. Brilliant, this is uh, <laughs> this is not going to work out well at all. I see a Doctrine, Imago Loop, a Monte Carlo, Harkins Hatchet, and I believe that was a No Time to Explain. So we're probably going to get melted in this map, especially by a lot of shotguns. Okay, he's using a fusion rifle, Ash Raven's Flight, that thing just melted me then. Yeah, you got to really try and keep your range when using this weapon, it definitely performs best at mid-range, otherwise you're probably going to lose 9 out of 10 gunfights. Okay, that guy that guy just gave himself to me then. Let's see if I can get the spawn on this guy. Hey there. Oh really? Come on, you've got no health. Please. Please come back, I want to hug you. Okay, nice, we've got the kill. Wow, okay. Don't know how I won that. Oh no, I'm an idiot. I knew that was there as well, why did I do that? Okay, just gonna clean that guy up. Please, nice. Gain the lead, alright. This lead probably isn't going to last very long though. Yep, <laughs> as I say that, we lose. There's not really many areas that I can go on this map, I've got to keep my distance. Really? Okay, this guy just whiffed at me. Yeah, I'm not like getting away. <laughs> And I'm just going to fist a panic. I'm not even going to bother. Okay, I don't know how I got that guy considering I just jumped then. If you try, yeah, when if you use this weapon, do not jump because all accuracy just tends to go out the window. This guy just keeps coming back for more. Oh no, wait, no, this is a different guy. All right. This guy just keeps coming back for more. Five kill streak. We're somehow still in the lead. I'm surprised we're not doing worse considering we're playing on such a close quarters map. Wow. That Ash Raven's flight. I may have to give that a go myself at some point. It is on sale, this Iron Banner. Wow, that throw knife went through my face. I don't know how that didn't hit me then. Alright, <laughs> trade. I'll take it. Yeah, this guy has heavy. I'm not, I don't really... Please go away. I'm just gonna do that. <laughs> oh, that guy was dancing as well. I feel kind of bad now. Okay, this is a uh, a golden gun. <gasps> golden tears. Let's just dance. Screw it. Let's just dance this game out <laughs> and get the quick scope. <laughs> All right. Uh, I guess I'm just gonna leave that guy. <laughs> Jesus Christ, my aim was everywhere then. Oh, it's this guy again. You're falling behind. I guess we have some sort of truce now. <laughs> um, 
I'm not sure how I feel about the kill time of this weapon. It feels decent, but it's not quite there. Like, I usually find a lot of the kills I do either no damage and it's just kind of pointless engaging, or I get them down to very little health and then they just make it away from me. You've really got to land all of your bullets, otherwise it's not that effective. Although, part of it, it probably has something to do with my role as well. Like, I've seen some videos of people absolutely melting with this weapon, if you have the right role, like if you have anything that increases range, or if you have perfect balance, anything that just reduces, or increases stability rather, then you can do really well with this weapon. But my role is pretty mediocre, so that's probably part of why it's not doing as good as it could be. But we're not doing too bad this game, we're not doing too bad at all. I thought I had my super, I don't know why I did that. Okay, we can't let this guy come back, we're just barely in the lead, we need to win this. Now I have my super. Thank god for shockwave. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna do that, I'm gonna pretty day with that. Alright, I'll take it. We just need one more now. Come on. We need 10 points. We don't even need a full kill. We need an assist. Please. Thank God, okay. Thank God we just got that at the end there. Alright, not too bad. We could have done worse. I, I was honestly expected to do a lot worse on this map. 23 kills, 11 deaths, and 2.09 KD. Not too shabby at all. So that is the Grim Citizen, it's not exactly the best auto rifle out there right now, it was definitely a lot better in year 1, but this thing can still melt if you get a good roll on it, if you get anything that increases range or stability, this can be a really good weapon, but as I showed you guys, mine does not have a good roll at all. I feel like you've got to really land all of your shots if you want to stand a chance, otherwise most gunfights you're going to get outgunned if you miss any shots, and of course having a better roll will help. It does have the potential to melt if you have a god roll, otherwise without that it's not going to quite cut it, and I feel like this weapon does best at mid range. So that is it for the video, I really hope you enjoyed it, thank you very much for watching, and I'll talk to you next time.